Welcome to this research update and brief this 11th of September 2017. Well, if you had a question in regard to vitamin C and whether it doesn't really make a difference when it comes to leukemia and or cancer, you are about to have that question answered twice. Through a remarkable coincidence, two separate studies from two separate institutions actually working on vitamin C in regard to the same enzyme, otherwise known as TET, methylcytosine deoxygenase 2. You'll understand more why in a second. First, let's go to Article 1, and you'll just read the title here. Vitamin C may encourage blood cancer stem cells to die. The citation, or I should say the, uh, the peer-reviewed release, as follows. Now, Article 2. Remember, these are two separate institutions. Just happen to be a study in regard to vitamin C and the same enzyme. Pure coincidence. CRI, scientists discover vitamin C regulates the stem cell function, curbs leukemia development and their citation obviously published in Nature magazine. First, let's revert back to article number one and the lead of that part of that article. Vitamin C may tell faulty stem cells in bone marrow to mature and die normally instead of multiplying to cause blood cancers. This is the finding of the study led by researchers from the Pearl Matter Cancer, Cancer Center at NYU Langone Health and published online on the 17th of August, 2017 in the Journal of Cell. Article two, their lead. A new study from Children's Medical Center Research Institute at UT Southwestern, CRI, has found that stem cells take up an unusually high level of vitamin C, which then regulates their function and suppresses the development of leukemia. All right, let's go into the details first of article number one, or research project number one, we'll just say, and what they discovered in regard to vitamin C and their particular cancers they were looking at. The authors hypothesized that high doses of vitamin C, which can only be given intravenously, might reverse the effects of TET2 deficiency by turning up the action of the remaining functional gene. They discovered the following. Indeed, they found that vitamin C did the same thing as restoring TET2 function genetically. By promoting DNA, methyl uh, DNA demethylation, high dose vitamin C treatments induce stem cells to mature and also suppress the growth of leukemia cancer cells from patients implanted, or I should say, cancer stem cells or cancer stem cells from patients implanted in mice. Article two in regard to vitamin C. And again, you're getting the key uh, theme here, stem cell regulation. Number two, stem cells use ascorbate, I mean vitamin C, to regulate the abundance of certain chemical modifications on DNA which are part of the epigenome, said Dr. Magalis. I'll leave the last name to you, lead author of the study and assistant instructor at CRI in the Royal Commission for the Exhibition of 1851 Research Fellow. The epigenome is a set of mechanisms inside a cell that regulates which genes turn on and off. So when stem cells do not receive enough vitamin C, the epigenome can become damaged in a way that increases stem cell function but also increases the risk of leukemia. Next paragraph, you see that tattoo once again. The increased risk is partly tied to how ascorbate affects an enzyme known as tattoo. The study showed mutations that inactivated tattoo are an early step in the formation of leukemia. So what to take from this is the following between the two studies. They both discovered that when vitamin C levels go too low, stem cells actually increase in production. But the problem being this, what they're producing tends to be highly defective, highly carcinogenic, or at least an individual prone to leukemia. So does vitamin C make a difference in regard to leukemia and cancer? According to these two research articles that came out about the same time, it apparently looks like a yes. Again, this is Ralph Turchiana. Both of the DOI citations will be listed below for you to research on your own. Again, an amazing coincidence, and I love the redundancy in regard to studies. It just builds your confidence in regard to what the research discovered. Two separate studies altogether. This is Ralph Turchiana signing off. Look forward to seeing you all once again in seven days. And again, as always, thank you very much for listening, and I hope you find this information of use. Catch you then. Bye.